folks. Welcome to Watson's Wagons. Yeah, it's a mail call. We haven't done any mail calls in a long time. Hey, there was a time when we used to do them all the time. But then I had to get fiscally responsible. Yeah, I hate that. Anyhow, um, got a couple things in the mail. And we'll start with the big box. Now, those of you that have... You know, that came here for the swap meet and saw the big camo net that we had set up in the yard. Scott Schiller and I had one hell of a time trying to set that stupid thing up. It kept wanting to, you know, the, 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 the forks or the spoons or whatever kept wanting to slide off from underneath the thing. And turns out that that modern net system didn't use the, uh, the standard spreaders. I didn't know that um, until the guy at work told me about it. So, I went online and I found the spreaders for a buck ninety-nine a piece. Yeah, they attach to the poles I already have. So, that's what they look like. They look like frisbees for crying out loud. All right, they're just a round disc, but you'll notice that they have these little pins. All right, this catches all the perforations up on the net and prevents that from sliding around. If we'd have had these bad boys, we'd have been good to go. So, Scott Schiller, dude, I appreciate you helping me set that up. I'm glad I was able to make you laugh every time uh, one of these poles fell down and hit me. Anyhow, it was all good. So, those are here. Fuck 99. Okay, I got a piece of mail from Cypress, Texas. And the name on it is Thorn. Feels like something. Let's open it up and see what it is. Yeah. When we get done with this, we gotta go to the shed and pull a starter off another motor I forgot I had. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Whoa! Texas International Flat Fender Club. Check out the patch, my friends. Hummer, hummer, hummer. Ooh, that's good stuff. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to get me a, a thing, a setup up here and start pinning these bad boys up. Um, boy, you guys did a good job on that patch. I like it. I really like it. Thank you. That's cool, man. All right, Rob Carson. Rob Carson. Right? Out of Sharpsville, Pennsylvania. Your package arrived and it's soaking wet. <laughs> So we must have had one hell of a rainstorm come through here because everything that was in the mailbox was wet. So we're just going to tenderly peel this open. Uh oh, there's an envelope in there. And inside this wet envelope, I'm sorry dude. The weather, mother nature you know, is what it is. Ooh, what is this? There's a note in here. I can get it open without damaging stuff. Oh, it's cool. Western Pennsylvania Patrol. Brandon Corwin, President. Rob Carson, Second. Western PA. Dude, that's cool, man. Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. So today, we got two patches in the mail. Humma, humma, humma. Yeah. I like to pee for Pittsburgh, huh? It must be the pirates. That's awesome. Also, what did a brother hook, up, hook me up with? I have, most of you guys know that I'm working on a, a, an, an, an MB2A Jeep. Right? It's a 46 CJ that I'm doing conversions on. And I'm converting everything, man, to make this an MB clone. Uh, um, Chris McKay squared me away with the front and rear axles so I can have the proper steering linkage and the proper axles underneath that chassis. Uh, I've already relocated a lot of things, but this fine gentleman hooked me up with this. Right? That's the nut for the crank. 
but uh as for to do the manual start with the crank i gotta get the now i gotta get the crank handle so this is gonna go on that motor uh on dog six dog six is is the bumper number for my humvee during desert storm and that is the the bumper markings that are going to go on this uh, jeep when it's finished so another part for dog six this is very much appreciated and i can't wait to put it on there i might just have to leave it shiny that's right so rob carson thank you so much uh brandon uh youtube um and uh and uh and then thorn thorn what's your first name man come on i gotta look it up now uh, out of Cypress, Texas. So, whoa, what a great mail call today. All right, I'm gonna head over to the shed. I got to pull a starter off of a motor that I have. As you know, I let my good friend Jeremy from Willis Willies drive this thing around the block a couple times. The dude left my ignition switch in the on position, in the start position, and burned up my starter. So, I come home yesterday, uh, to find this sitting on my fender. <laughs> the man went and got me an ignition switch. Um, so I don't have that problem again. And then uh, I happened to find another 226 Super Hurricane, Super Hurricane, out near Gettysburg last year for a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, shoot, it had everything bolted to it. So I snatched it up, it's over in the shed. I'm gonna go see if the starter is on it and pull it. And uh, if that thing works, I'm going to hook some jumper cables to it. It's getting a DuPont rebuild. Yeah, if you don't know what DuPont rebuild is, somebody educate the folks. All right. That's it, everybody. Thank you so much, everyone, for your mail. And, uh, hey, looking forward to getting out there and working on this Jeep and getting it back on the road because it runs nice now. Yeah.